Well, hello there. My name is Rebecca Dever, and today we're going to be talking about Alpha Omega Publication. Are you feeling confused about Alpha Omega Publication? Are you not sure what this homeschool curriculum is about? Some people tell you it's online. Other people tell you it is paper-based. Other people tell you it is unit studies focused. Well, what is it? Alpha Omega Publications is all of this. And that is because they produce several different homeschooling curriculum designed to be used by families who prefer different things. That is, if you are a parent who wants to choose a curriculum that is really hands-on, you might use Weaver. If you want everything online, you could use Switched On Schoolhouse. Essentially, it is the same curriculum in different formats. Lifepack Horizons and Weaver are print publications and Switched On Schoolhouse and Monarch are digital products. Or I should say Monarch is an online product subscription based and Switched On Schoolhouse is a USB product that you can use as well as being online. That They've got functionalities online but you can use it offline on a computer if you wish. But let's take a closer look at each one. First of all, Lifepack by Alpha and Omega Publications is a print publication. That means it gets mailed to your door inside a box and you can get it for grades K through to 12. It is a self-paced mastery based course. With this package you get five basic subjects that are included. This is also the case for other Alpha Omega products. Bible, History and Geography, Language Arts, Math and Science. For parents who perhaps have slightly older children there are also electives which you can choose as well. And then there is Switched On Schoolhouse which is a USB based, computer based program. You can use it when your computer isn't connected to the internet but it has added features if you do connect to the internet. It has become a big favourite among homeschooling parents who want everything to be done online and they don't want to sit there marking their children's work and they just want to have transcripts and everything online. Perhaps the only downside is that it only starts from grade 3 so you'll have to use a different program if you have children younger than that. But I would argue that it's a good thing not to put children younger than grade 3 in front of a computer screen all day anyhow. Monarch is very similar to the Switched On Schoolhouse program, but it is uh, subscription based, meaning you pay for it every month or quarter or year. And in this way, you have to do everything online because it doesn't come in a USB format. This means that you have to have a very reliable internet connection if your children are going to do it, because it won't work if you don't have an internet connection. This one as well is only available from grades 3 through 12. With Monarch, I like that you can customise the courses a little bit so that your children will be slightly more interested as well. Monarch could be a good option if you only wanted to homeschool short term and you didn't want to give up all your money to a program that you're not going to use all year long. Coronavirus homeschooling for Christian parents might be a good example of this. Or if you can't afford the big outlay that Switched On Schoolhouse is going to cost, Monarch could be a good option because it's only $40 a month as opposed to an outlay of $400 almost. Okay, and then there is Horizons Publication. Again, because it's a print publication, it will get mailed to your door nice and easy. Lifepack is slightly less challenging than Horizons. That is because Horizon starts earlier and starts in preschool, whereas Lifepack starts later. And so by the time they get to a later age range, they've learned more with Horizons. If your child has done Horizons in preschool, they would have already started on letters and numbers. However, if you're doing the life pack curriculum, this won't happen until the kindergarten age. Horizons is spiral learning, whereas life pack is mastery based learning. Life pack is more student led, whereas Horizons is more teacher led. I believe this makes life pack more suitable for a homeschooling situation and life pack more suitable for a school situation. Okay, and then there is Weaver by Alpha Omega Publications, and I think this is quite exciting. I haven't heard a lot of people discussing this one but this is basically an Alpha Omega publication that is unit studies based. That means it is hands-on learning and that is pretty exciting if you have kids who squirm a lot in their chairs and just won't sit still and kids who love to learn through their hands. The other thing a unit studies curriculum has to offer is that it aims to teach children um, of different age groups together. 
What this means is if you have several children, you can teach them at the same time instead of going around to each child and doing separate curricula with them. It also means different children in your family are learning the same thing, the same curriculum, but perhaps at different understanding levels. A lot of people ask what homeschooling style Alpha Mega Publications uses. For most of the curriculum options, that they use a traditional homeschooling method. This means that you can use it even in schools as they do with the Horizons curriculum. But Weaver is a little bit different because it uses the unit studies homeschooling method a little bit as well. Now for you, it's important to note that I myself am not affiliated with this curriculum, but I just like it and that's why I thought I would do a video on it. Video on it because my subscribers tend to be Christian parents who are looking for good curriculum which they can use with their children. And I would say that any of the things from Alpha Omega are gonna be a good choice to use. I hope you found this video really helpful. Please like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.